Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about uh, the integral formula for the natural log of x. So we mentioned it briefly, uh, briefly before, but uh, if we want to integrate the natural log of x, so the integral of natural log of x dx, um, the way we do this is with integration by parts. So that's really uh, not at all obvious because integration by parts is typically used for integrating products, right? And what do we have here? Just natural log of x. Okay, so it's not really a product. Um, you can think of it as natural log of x times 1, but even then, it's just not obvious to use integration by parts. But um, <clears throat> it's okay if it's not obvious, because remember, integration by parts is just one of the many techniques to try. So if you want to integrate something, um, then just try a few te If nothing jumps out at you, try a few techniques, and one of them ought to be integration by parts. And if that works, then totally uh, go ahead and go that route. That's great. So um, let's go ahead and do integration by parts on this. So remember, the integration by parts formula says uh, the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. Okay. So we're going to want to use this formula here. And remember how integration by parts works. We want to choose u. And then when we choose u, uh, dv is fixed to be everything else. So how do we choose u? We use that uh, liate or whatever it's called rule. So choose u to be the first thing that appears on this list. Okay. Well, uh, what do we have here? Well, we, really, we only have one function. It's logarithmic. Um, but t technically speaking, you could think of this as ln x times 1. So the one would be the other function, um, but we don't really have to get that uh, technical or that crazy with it. But uh, logarithmic function, it's the first thing on the list, so that's, that's great. So just choose u to be that. Okay, so we're going to choose u to be the logarithmic function. So remember, once we choose u, uh, dv is forced to be everything else that's left over, including the dx. So dv is just the same thing as dx. Okay. So now uh, u equals the natural log of x, and dv is just dx. So if u is the natural log of x, then du is 1 over x uh, dx. And since uh, dv is dx, then v is just x, right? And remember, no arbitrary constant on the v for integration by parts. Uh, we talked about that in an earlier video. So um, that's a dx, that's what that says, dx. OK, so now let's go ahead and toss these guys into that formula. So the integral of u dv equals uh, uv, okay, uv, uv, ln x times x, so this is u times v, okay, minus the integral of v du, okay, so v is x, <clears throat> du is 1 over x dx, okay, so then uh, this integral becomes, so let's rewrite this as x times the natural log of x, just more custom to do it like that, uh, okay, so then here, x times 1 over x, those guys cancel, and we're just left with the 1. So this is the integral of 1 dx. Okay. So uh, that's x times natural log of x minus, uh, if you integrate 1, you just get x plus an arbitrary constant. Technically speaking, yeah, it's minus uh, like this, so this should be minus e. But remember, subtract an arbitrary constant, add an arbitrary constant, it's the exact same thing. So remember, this minus sign affects the entire integral, including the arbitrary constant. But it's just a constant, so uh, it's just an arbitrary constant, so add or subtract, it makes no difference. <clears throat> but anyway, here's our answer, okay? So um, the integral of natural log of x dx equals x ln x minus x plus c. So it's a pretty direct and simple application of integration by parts. Um, it's one of the simplest examples you can have, really, with integration by parts. Uh, but again, it's not at all obvious that integration by parts is the way to go. But um, it is one of the many techniques that you could use to evaluate integrals. So if uh, something doesn't jump out at you right away, if, uh, so if you want to evaluate an integral and none of the techniques jump out right away, just try some. Um, and one of them ought to be integration by parts, and that's the one that works here. So this is the integral formula for the natural log of x, and it's x ln x minus x plus c.